everyone, welcome back to ET Studios present Future Brands of India in association with ET Retail. I am Himanshi Tiwari. Now in this show, we delve deeper into the stories that shape our future and today we have with us a visionary who has revolutionized the space of personal care brand. With us, we have Puneet Gupta, founder of Cleanstar. Puneet, it's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Himanshi. All right, Puneet, quickly just tell me the story of Cleanstar from, uh, from zero to 100 crores now. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I try to, you know, summarize. I think being personal care brand, we wanted to innovate in this space, simplify personal care and bring technology play in this space. Uh, unlike, you know, a marketing-led approach, we took a product-led approach. And hence, I think invention of waterless bathing happened. So where people can take bath without water. We, yeah. we scaled up into, uh, you know, regular hair and skin care uh, over the period of time. Mm -hmm. I think that is how much more adoption has come now. I think it was maybe a long journey, but uh, I think uh, over the period of time, we, what we realize is, I think ultimately product will be a king and product, uh, ultimately product will lead, you know, your business. So not mm -hmm. any marketing will lead your business. Yeah. And waterless products, your waterless products also attracted Indian Army and Navy, right? W what's the story mm -hmm. behind that? Uh, so it's simple, you know, I was myself defense enthusiast. So appeared in, you know, SSB 2003 and uh, seen, you know, defense very closely. Before Cleansta, I was also part of a startup where we used to interact with soldiers. And I realized the situation has been extremely dif difficult. So minus you know 30 40 degrees and they have been staying without water mm -hmm. and it's like ice yeah. so there was you know they were not able to take bath as long as 90 days mm -hmm. but if you look at a submarine likewise the situation was mm -hmm. same hence uh, it was very complementary product for you know such uh, situations and hence yeah. uh, people have you know adopted in that particular region all right, talking about water, I've, uh, I'm seeing that you're too fascinated when it comes to water, saving water, because you also did one campaign uh, with Pariniti Chopra on uh, the global water crisis. So what was that uh, all uh, campaign was all about and what was the thought behind starting such a campaign? Uh, so, well, I mean, our core is always uh, sustainability and uh, as a brand, Cleanstar, you know, we would like to connect to our core. And that's how the waterless bathing was the first category. But when we scaled up in a regular hair and skin category, what we realize is we eventually use a lot of water while even our hair wash and bathing, right? Mm -hmm. So the intent of buy one, give one is uh, we wanted to, you know, innovate in this space. People do buy one, get one. Yeah, uh, yeah. And intent here is when you do buy one, give one, that if you buy one bottle of Cleansta, we are going to donate one drinking water bottle to someone who's in need. And that is how the campaign was, you know, did a kind of a successful reach to a lot of people. All right. And also talking about Pariniti Chopra, she is a celebrity investor in your company right now, which is why we have been seeing the company getting a lot of eyeballs, right? So do you think a celebrity investor or a brand ambassador or any kind of celebrity presents help the brands to grow exponentially like yours? I mean, definitely. Uh, so, you know, they have their own audience. Yeah. And in case of Pariniti, you know, right, the combined uh, followers is 75 million. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, with one post of her, it goes to so many people. And in our case, since she's investor and partner, mm -hmm. so she's deeply engaged as well. So she's, you know, herself coming to the events and meeting our distributors, our partners and customers. She's making herself calls, right? Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that is how uh, her engagement with our brand. And hence we have kind of a I would say higher amount of reach yeah, yeah higher amount of reach and now you are a hundred crore company uh, tell me Puneet scaling a D2C brand like yours is also quite an endeavor right so how, what are your plans when it comes to scaling your brands and I've also uh, heard that you're bullish on your global expansion plans as well so what is all that about see the situation is very simple I mean when you look at a D2C so I always see and keep on saying since many, many days, India is a retail market, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. Uh, D2C gives you more clarity that what is working out, what is not working out. But I think how you can utilize that insight in your retail, mm -hmm. I think that is what is more important. So I'll just give you a very simple example, right? If, if you look at a Goa or versus a Delhi, mm -hmm. December, right? Mm -hmm. Somewhere it's like a Delhi's winter and that's not winter, right? Mm -hmm. so, so the eventually, 
यू विल गेट अ डी टू सी इन साइट की कस्टमर गोवा में क्या खरीद रहा है दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू बाई अ मॉइस्चराइजर राइट सो हेंस यू गेट योर असॉटमेंट स्ट्रैटेजी राइट विद द हेल्प ऑफ डी टू सी बट अनलाइक एज एन इंडिया राइट इंडिया विल बी इट हैज बीन अ रिटेल मार्केट विल बी रिटेल मार्केट फॉर अंदर टेन ऑड ईयर्स राइट वेयर यू नो यू विल हैव टू यूज रिटेल इन साइट रिटेल प्लेटफॉर्म्स सो आई वुड से स्केलिंग अ डी टू सी ब्रांड इज द ओनली मंत्रा आई वुड से ओमनी चैनल बिजनेस सो यू टेक इन साइट फ्रॉम डी टू सी स्केल इट इन रिटेल लेट इट बी जनरेटेड एंड मॉडनेटेड एंड देन यू नो यू कैन बिकम अ लार्ज ब्रांड आई थिंक दैट इज हाउ वॉट वी फील एंड वी कूड गेट अ सक्सेस योर नाउ कमिंग बैक टू योर ग्लोबल एक्सपेंशन सी इट इज सिंपल दैट globally when you sell something it it is more profitable yeah. so right. you so we got some patents and we got lot of organic interest okay. so you know as a business where we talk about a funding winter mm -hmm. it is more important that we are able to you know uh, uh, whatever operational expenses we have right we are able to cover it ourselves and hence export comes into a picture mm -hmm. so we can make more margins we can you know some part of growth we are able to fund ourselves i think that is how we look at a uh, exports All right. So you have right now you have given me a lot of keywords to ask questions now, and I have too many questions going on my head. Starting with customer preferences, you talked about Goa. How customers are different uh, when it comes to different cities. Correct. So how do you analyze what kind of customer base uh, do you have, and what kind of products do your customer want, and what do you think that any kind of technology is leveraged into that? Uh, analyzation correct you also asked many questions <laughs> let, me, let me try one by one so look uh, d2c is like a great engine to get these insights right goa mein kya chalta hai delhi mein kya chalta hai bombay mein kya chalta hai and we get some information right yeah. that is one second is uh, people who have been buying your product three times right we call them and ask them why do you buy agar usne bataya ki maine aapka red aloe vera hmm. uh, face wash isliye kharida hai so we get those insight kyunki jo teen bar ek product khareed raha hai mm -hmm. he will get a right insight he will be able to give you right reason for purchase and i think once you are very clear and i think that is in last so many years just blindly spending money on market act, you know customer acquisition yeah. or marketing or awareness mm -hmm. we generally don't do that mm -hmm. we are going in very selective way once we are very clear ki hame ye karna hai aur idhar se hamara paisa banta hai hum wohi usko scale karte hain and that is how it, it is mm -hmm. right yeah. uh, uh, so this is how you know we are able to utilize now coming back to ai and other stuff right so what my view here is that as a client star what we are trying to do is we are trying to bring uh, best of the both worlds in our products for example nature as well as science so when you use let's say a uh, red aloe vera shampoo or a rosemary shampoo right or any such skin care product mm -hmm. so we have one market first ingredient which is a natural ingredient but we have a back end science which is active ingredient so for example hyaluronic acid right yeah. we also use salicylic acid now apart from the active we also ensure have a right dosage mm. like for example i can set a analogy for you 500 mg paracetamol will work but 250 mg will not work yeah. so iska matlab hai right dosage chahiye yeah. so when we use hyaluronic acid uska right dosage that is one thing which is important now we are using ai to measure the results हमारे स्पेस में सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज विच आई हैव बीन सीइंग राइट ट्रस्ट कंज्यूमर हैव बीन सीइंग सो मेनी ब्रांड्स दे ट्राई एंड दे डोंट गेट दोज रिजल्ट्स एंड दे डोंट कम बैक सो द इंटेंट इज वी आर बिल्डिंग आर एआई टूल आई विल आई विल ऑफर एक्स प्रोडक्ट एंड देन आई विल मेजर दोज रिजल्ट एंड हैंस आई कैन रिटेन दोज कंज्यूमर बाई इंश्योरिंग की जो तुमने हमने बोला है वो ही तुम्हें मिल रहा है एंड यू कैन मेजर इट सो आई थिंक वन समथिंग यू कैन मेजर इट you are not going to lose that consumer yeah and the uh, consumers are now researching a lot also about active ingredients that right. you are talking about and now with more educated consumers the brands now have more responsibility of delivering the products of that sort so when it comes to uh, active in ingredients that you were talking about so do you on your website or anywhere else or on any platform uh, display the story behind your product as well because the story is also really important no so 100% i would say more than a story what is something which is missing out in this space right and how we are trying to solve it is super important to define a right dosage yeah. right as i was saying yeah. so people get a access to data ki people have been searching salicylic acid or biotin or xyz right but i am saying unless that biotin quantity is not defined yeah yeah that is not going to bring a quantified results yeah. 
so we are always ensuring on front of our pack we are ensuring to mention a percentage of that active i think that is super important because that is super yeah. effective yeah. and as well as expensive yeah. so people will get to know their value for money yeah and super critical as well because if the dosage is not right if it is more then it can also cause more harm than good to a lot of consumers Correct. right so therefore uh, i think one thing which i did not mention here so we have a star technology which is transdermal technology mm -hmm. so generally what happens is when you use any of the product like vitamin c which is very yeah. popular right okay. Now, if you look at vitamin C molecules are bigger than your pore size of the skin. Exactly. It doesn't go and penetrate in yeah. your skin. So what is happening, it doesn't get 100%. Hence, people try and give you 10%, 20% and you will find maybe more than that, right? Yeah, yeah. Whether it is harmful for your skin or not, exactly. uh, without knowing that fact, right? Yeah. So what we are trying to ensure here is our transdermal technology, which is near to 100% absorption. Mm. So where if I need 1%, I will use only 1%. Right, because I know my one percent absorb will mm -hmm. Right, I don't have to use five yeah. percent to give you one percent, yeah. exactly. which will increase unnecessary cost for consumer. Uh -huh. One, yeah. two, unnecessary inflated price. Exactly. So we are trying to give a better price at a better quality, and hence I think that is also one of the reason you know we are able to penetrate in this crowded market. All right, so you talked about technology, what technology goes into your product mm -hmm. uh, building up, but I w also want to touch upon the technology uh, that you leverage to understand your consumers. Mm -hmm. How do you kind of understand your consumers' preferences, what they want and what kind of demography mm -hmm. uh, is uh, you know looking for certain kind of products? Hmm. So, look, mm -hmm. Ki when you are selling something on your own website, right? I know uh, South May, for example, mm -hmm. people love hair oil, right? Yeah. But versus North, people don't use hair oil, yeah. right? So I am saying now somebody who is new to the market and he will distribute your hair oil to all retail outlets, North and South both, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then you don't get a kind of a right insight. Yeah. Also, it is also important that you have to lead the which product. Se lead karna hai. Mm -hmm. If I drive North market with the oil, it will not going to get success. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how you know we are using uh, primarily our website to leverage that kind of insight. Hmm. All right. Oh, you also talked about sustainability, which is your brand's ethos, a part of your brand's ethos, right? So how do you kind of uh, ensure that your whole value chain proposition is sustainable? Correct. No, I think this is super important starting from the packaging we go get. We use recycled plastic, right? We try and contribute whatever way we can. We, I mean, as a brand, we have inculcated in our you know brand itself with the whole team that we saved 1 billion liters of water so far and now we took a aim to distribute 1 billion liters of water wo hai na ki chand ko aim karoge to yeah. kahin na kahin to pahunchenge yeah. so i am saying you know uh, simple hai we have already pledged that we would like to distribute now 1 billion liters of water and the whole team is aligned along with this mission all right, so we have heard so much about your brand from you and a lot of perspectives have uh, now come for our audiences as well. But also tell me about the competition. Mm -hmm. Now, personal care is a competitive space. We are now seeing a lot of brands entering into this space mm -hmm. right now. So how do you kind of differentiate your brand? What is your USP apart from the waterless technology? With mm -hmm. Because you started with waterless technology, Correct. but Correct. now what? Uh, so as I said, you know, I spent 10 years in a product company before coming to Cleanstar, right? So uh, when you look at uh, Honeywell, right, which was my first job, right? So I, I remember my conversation, my customer used to just want Honeywell because irrespective of price. Yeah. So what my view is, uh, post Honeywell, I worked for a defense dev tech startup where we used to upgrade weapons, where we are trying to aim a, you know, a enemy, right? Yeah. There is no yeah. chances for any making a mistake, 0.1%, percent, right? Yeah. So I think spending 10 years in that space where I knew that precision is very important, mm -hmm. we came back to IIT Delhi campus, right? We spent three years into research and development mm -hmm. and built five technologies. And these technologies, if I give you analogy, more like a Microsoft, mm -hmm. okay, or an Android, or any such a platform where it can be used for many places. Mm -hmm. So now coming back to in this cloud, you know, cluttered market, the first one which you did discuss star uh, this waterless right intent of building waterless is jahan jahan pani ki zarurat hai hum usko replace karte jayenge aaj hame lag raha hai ki hamare paas pani bahut hai but we all know what will happen you know out of exactly. uh, 20 years yeah. after right so bathing without water uh, you know head bath without water 
now we got another patent uh, brushing without water right so i am saying i can build a technology where you can wash your clothes without water why do you have to wash your clothes with water right so i am saying you know we have to bring alternatives to the world right yeah. then only you are going to matlab hota hai na bol dena aasan hai ki no plastic bottles but i am saying you know when you say no plastic bottles so what yeah how then are you going to solve the alternative unless you don't have a alternative you are yeah. not going to solve that problem yeah. so what i feel is that we are trying to bring alternative like this hmm. now likewise in a star technology we are trying to differentiate ourselves ki jo bhi hum ingredient use kar rahe hain hum chahte hain jitna hum use kare utna absorb ho jaye and because aap ek particular reason se usko use karte ho chahe wo koi bhi aapka active natural active ho ya you know uh, your salicylic acid or hyaluronic acid right you want that it should penetrate in your skin unless it is not penetrated only just on the upper layer it is not going to bring results yeah. so here the star technology comes into picture and likewise many others so we as a tech player i would say in this space we've built these technologies helping consumers to get those products absorbed and bringing that results what they are looking for and with the ai tool they can measure that all right we were also talking about puneet before this interview you suggested about the right to win for d2c players right so what do you want to talk, uh, tell about uh, that <laughs> so i keep on saying this okay uh, i think in our space there are two large problem one has to solve okay one is discovery second is repeat okay before paniti was coming on board right we used to lot talk about technology right but paniti said guys consumer ko consumer ki bhasha mein samjhate hain yeah technology use karo you want to do be best you be best hmm. don't spoil your technology don't dilute your technology use that right hmm. but that is going to help you in repeat and i think now post pariniti she also being marketer right yeah, yeah. she helped to identify our few market first ingredient like red aloe vera hmm. green aloe vera market was established right yeah, yeah. to hame consumer ko aasani se samjhana pada ki red aloe vera is better than green hmm. because red aloe vera is 22 times better than green yeah. so here our market first ingredient people have been buying out of curiosity because they wanted to the green kya hai green to suna hai red kya hai and then they did google and they found ki are ye to 22 times better hai right mm -hmm. so out of curiosity people have purchased because of a technology active science we could solve repeat so i think right to win is agar hum kam cost mein product ko discover kara sakte hain aur maximum consumer ko dobara leke aa sakte hain i think that is only going, going to be right to win all right so that's your right to win for uh, all the d2c players right now in the industry puneet also tell me about your uh, expansion plans we talked touched upon a little bit on your global expansion plans mm -hmm. but are there uh, any plans in this financial year correct so uh, this is definitely i mean we have tried to build our various revenue streams right and i think that learning has come from the covid if you're working only in like say b2b and somehow you are not able to service that right yeah. it is not going to work out tomorrow meta change some policy you may not be able to digital scale yeah, quickly that's right that's so the here therefore what we have done here is we have built our own website we have built our marketplaces we have built our retail we have built our exports and we have built our institutional mm -hmm. segments right now our focus may not be quickly on our priorities mm -hmm. in this financial year we have focused on exports okay. as well okay. last year it was 2% this year we should see somewhere around 10 to 15% exports right so i think when you look at the overall revenue stream we have sorted all the options mm -hmm. and this year apart from you know digital marketplaces and retail i think export is going to be one of the channel all right so you have talked about your uh, expansion plans and also how you have come from 0 to 100 crores now but also i want to know about the challenges that uh, challenges that you might have faced when you started this business or even <laughs> after that because what is a business without any challenges to overcome right so please let so us so i i think i've been saying all this that magnitude of problem will get changed with respect to and uh, i think entrepreneurs have to find out and have unsolved to solve i think that is what we all have to do it uh from here of course you've seen several challenges right uh, with a limited money uh, you have to scale business and you have to get more customers required you have to have your growth plans you have to service your customers your employees your investors i think now uh if you look at uh challenges every every place we've tried to build some structure to you know overcome those challenges but i think more than challenge 
I think we have inculcated in our you know company that we should focus more on goals yeah. so that we are able to you know overcome those challenges but I think that challenges have been throughout our life whether it's product side or distribution side or hmm. yeah, marketing side. Pe ho. All right, so now please tell us what is your plan from, uh, you know, a plan of reaching from 100 crores to 1000 crores now? Uh, I think uh, my view is uh, from 100 to 1000 is more an execution game now, right? I think we could find our PMF, we have identified what product is working out, where is the market share, where is the market share. Uh, Red Aloe Vera already gained 50% of the market share in our revenue, right? And likewise, Rosemary and Egg and Waterless. So what my view is, we need a very good team for 100,000. We have invested in our team from last one year. We have been building that team. I think now, apart from me, we have you know, introduced a co-founder who comes from 20 odd years experience from a FMCG space, right? Ashish who joined, you know, spent a lot of time with BLCC, with large conglomerate like Tata Reliance mm -hmm. and last end was Mama Earth, right? Yeah, yeah. So where he has seen almost zero to billion dollar journey. So I would say apart from Ashish, mm -hmm. all of the functions, right? Marketplace, our website, retail, is been led by professionals and who has seen startup and multinationals, both of their kind of experience. So I feel from 100 to 1000 journey, we'll be now on team and I think we can be proudly say that we have a best team now, you know, who has seen all of the people have seen zero to billion dollar yeah, journey yeah. in historical yeah. uh, standpoint. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of team building is going in uh, at Clenstar right now. Uh, and soon we'll be able to uh, see you reaching to 1000 crores. So cheers to that. And Thank also you. one last question, Puneet. What advice would you want to give to D2C entrepreneurs like yours? So my, my view is, uh, I think uh, apart from uh, D2C, right? I think I would just say that use D2C as a data insight engine. Because if you try and optimize too much, right, maybe wo EBITDA jo hai zero se one a jayega, but I think that is not going to zero se five bhi a jayega. But I think intent is to build a large business, right? And agar us thoda profit hi banana hai, matlab I don't think so that is going to help. Yeah. So it is going to only help when you will use that data insight hmm. for scaling into several revenue streams yeah. so that you will have several revenue stream you know and uh, maybe your top line will become much better than uh, only D2C. That's right. All right basically having a long-term vision Correct. for uh, your I products yeah for I your company. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right so have a long-term vision and on that note thank you Puneet it was wonderful conversation with thank you. Thank you so much Manjee. And to our viewers stay tuned for more such videos only at ET Studios presents Future Brands of India in association with ET Retail. Until next time, many thanks for watching.